everybody. Shane back with you here at Guitar at Work. Welcome back. This is House of the Rising Sun, The Animals, the song you absolutely need to know. Campfire classic for sure. Uh, it's got some really cool right hand stuff going on there, as you can hear. We're individualizing those strings, so there'll be some technique to talk about. Um, I'll be referring to sheets uh, as we go, song sheets as always. So head to shanesimpson.com. You can download the sheets for this. No hassle, no charge, nothing to sign up for. Just go get them. shanesimpson.com. Look for a red button that says uh, download the Guitar at Work song sheets, and you're good to go. Uh, it'll make a lot more sense if you do. Also, thank Thank you for subscribing. There's a lot more videos coming, so hit that subscribe button. It'll let you know when new videos have come out. And uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. It really does help here. Um, looking right away, I'm going to assume that you're okay with the chords that we're seeing here. A minor. A minor. I have a pick in hand here, for sure. I'm looking at an A minor chord, get you a close up of that. And now with the right hand, you're seeing in the handwritten sheet, not the song sheet itself, but you should have a, a sheet that has a series of dots and hieroglyphics on it. Um, I'm looking at playing the open A string here. The first note we need is this open A with the right hand. Get a good close-up of that, like that. And I won't worry about the rhythm just yet, just get the actual notes. And next is the D string right next door. And that's the G string right next door. And B right there. And high E. I'll reverse direction here. I'll now go up, up, up. And so we've got down, 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 up, up, up. And notice I'm resting my right hand there. That is so important. Rest your right hand. I call it the, the heel of your hand right here, that little bone right there. That'll ensure that the pick stroke is coming from the wrist and not just up in space somewhere unsupported. Uh, rest them right there and you'll always know where you are. Um, now rhythmically, what's that doing here? You'll see the little beam uh, connecting the second and third note. That's an indicator of speed. So we want to go... I'll do that again. Down, 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 up, up. Up. So the second and third notes are quick, right? So going on again. Last time, half that speed. There we go. Exactly the same thing on a C chord. You only have to move one finger from A minor to C, as you probably know. Exactly the same right hand pattern. It's going to sound like this. And if I back it up a step, I'll go back to A minor, right back to the beginning. There's a C, one finger moves. Now on the D chord, we're kind of running out of strings because of the two X's involved in a D chord. The low two strings are out of bounds. So you play the open D and then hit it again. Like that. It's kind of the same, but you do have to double up on that bass note. We're going to again slowly D. And the same is true for the F here. Here's an F here in the left hand. Same pattern as a D. Let's play that whole first line again one more time. Taking it from the A minor very slowly. Three, four, and a C. Here's a D. Head into an F. And second line now of that handwritten sheet, A minor, C, and here's an E. And uh, we haven't seen an E just yet, so that's going to use the lowest strings here. We're going to go all across. And that's as far as we ascend, and we're descending now, heading up to the high E. So again, very slowly, the E chord. Now up we go. Last one. There we go. Those are all the chords we're going to bump into and the patterns associated with each chord. Now just put them together in the order that you see on the actual song sheet. So if I go to the very top here, uh, I'll take it from the verse section and, uh, one. and I should tell you how to count that. If you think of it, I'll start on A minor here and go one and uh, two and three. And here it is again. One and uh, two and three. And we're in 3-4 here, a time signature you may know, three beats to the bar. So that again is one, and a two, and three, and head into a C. Two, and three. Here's a D. Going to F. A minor, second line. C. Now two E's. 
another E. A minor, next line here. C coming. There's a D. Going to F here. Last line of the verse here, A minor. E. And A minor. And we're into a bit of an instrumental section after that. Um, so hey, even if you happen to hit um, a note that is not exactly perfect in the pattern, it's still going to sound fine because you do you do have a chord here in your left hand. So don't worry too. Much. It's like get get it as cleanly as you can, of course. But uh, don't worry if you can make the odd misstep. You just try to skate right through it. Uh, see. There, I hit, I hit a bad note, but it wasn't really a bad note, so it just wasn't exactly the right note. So keep the spirit of the thing alive. It's, it's robust and, and uh, kind of fidgety. It's a lot of fun. Um, so you can plainly see the order of occurrence of all of those, uh, of all of those chords and all the verses and the instrumental thing. Just follow that song sheet and you're in business for sure. Now you may want to, if you're just one guitar player playing around a campfire, you may want to go into a strum, you know, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, maybe halfway through, just to break it up a bit so it's not all the same. If you are going to do that, try this strumming pattern. It would be uh, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up, down. So one bar is this. Down, down, up, down, up. Now I'll go to a C. Down, down, up, down, a D. F. Down, down, A minor. Down, down, up, C. Down. Here's an E. Down twice. That might be a nice way to break it up. Sometimes this. And then go around once doing that. And then one. That might be nice to break it up, as I say. Um, the second half of the handwritten sheet is sort of an easy way to do it. If you're not feeling up to that little skippy thing, that fast bit, some people just go just like that. It's a bit of a cheating way, but uh, it sounds pretty darn good. You'll see that in the bottom half again of that handwritten sheet. So uh, let your conscience be your guide and uh, just have fun with it, whatever you do. Thanks a lot, guys. Shane here from Guitar at Work. And you can now support this channel by going to Patreon slash Guitar at Work and giving a buck or two. It really does help to keep the lights on here, literally. And uh, I want to thank you for subscribing. A lot more videos coming. Hit that subscribe button. There should be one bouncing over my head here any second. A little coffee cup. You can hit that to subscribe or below. Uh, leave some comments and suggestions. Always happy to hear from people and any songs that you might like to see uh, videos done of and uh, just keep on playing. Most of all, enjoy it. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye now.